Good evening, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day and happy Halloween. This evening, we're heading back to the Universal Orlando Resort for one last trip to Halloween Horror Nights 2021. So we've been going to HHN quite a lot off camera lately and a lot has changed since opening night. It's been extremely crowded this entire month of October, like more than normal. That's why we are leaving the house a lot earlier than we normally do. It's 4.30 right now. We usually don't get to HHN until about 7, 7.30, but Lately, it's just crowded no matter when you go. We want to go through our favorite houses one last time. We want to walk through the different scare zones one last time. And we just want to take it all in one last time until next year. Also, when we make it back home, we want to sit down and just discuss our rankings of the different houses and scare zones and just give our final thoughts and opinions about this year's event. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Okay, we have made it. We just finished dinner here at the Hard Rock Hotel and we get to park here, so it makes it even easier to get over to the park. I love this resort. I've never stayed here, but I think we need to do a staycation pretty soon. Look at this view. Within two minutes, we're about to enter the front gate. The really nice thing about parking at the Hard Rock is you have your own walkway and your own security checkpoint. Oh yes, one last night. Let's get started. It's a very busy night because it is the week of Halloween. Going through Eddie's Revenge first. I think this was my favorite scare zone of the year. I really enjoyed this scare zone a lot and it just kept getting better day after day. I must say, you were my favorite this year in this scare zone. <laughs> Goodbye. What's your ice cream flavors for this evening? Oh my goodness. It's good? Okay. <laughs> Our first house brings us here to the Haunting of Hill House. Express is a little backed up this evening, but it's to be expected. But look at the standby line. I'll tell you guys one thing. Express is the way to go. And away we go. Hill House. That house is awesome. Every time we go through that house, we just have so much fun. And I just feel like I'm in the Haunting of Hill House. And it's just so fun and so cool. I'm glad this house was here this year because it was long overdue. Goodbye, Beetlejuice. We're not going to have a run through tonight just because I don't personally think it's worth the wait, even with Express. Next up, the Wicked Growth. Here we go. All hail the Pumpkin King. Wow, Wicked Growth. That house is amazing. 10 out of 10. The scare actors are just A plus. I think that's our favorite house yeah, number this year. One. Yeah, it's number one. Great stuff. About to walk through the Crypt TV scare zone. I did really enjoy this scare zone this year. Oh man, goodbye. One last kill. The next scare zone up, seek and destroy. They've added victims since opening night. Oh no. I don't think she's okay. <laughs> Me? Oh no. Obey. Oh, I got you. Goodbye. What with the machine? Bring more followers to us, and you will be rewarded before you leave with more instructions. 
The next house up, HHN icons captured. Oh yes, here we go. HHN icons captured another fantastic house this year. Let's have one more final walkthrough of the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. I really enjoy walking through this room. I think this room may be my favorite with the different icons bust. There's Bones. And the Pumpkin Guy. There's Chance, my personal favorite, the Usher. There's the Director, the Storyteller, and finally, the Caretaker. Ooh, the bride wedding cake looks really good. And the Frankenstein cake. Look at the mummy macaron and the pumpkin one. So cool. Ooh, look at the gummy brains and then the hearts. I will say, I really enjoyed the overall theming of this year's tribute store. One last walkthrough of 30 years, 30 fears. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> no, you man, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Bones. And our final house of the night and the year, Case Files Unearthed. That house is so much dang fun, but there are a few Easter eggs from inside of the park that ties directly with that house, such as Kitty Cat Club. And there's the office that you walk past inside of the house. And then you have the sewer that you walk through. Halloween may be over, but Christmas is upon us. Until next year, Mel's dying. All right, that's a wrap on HHN 30. We have a lot to talk about and we'll talk as soon as we get home. All right, welcome back. <laughs> we have made it home and yes. it's officially Halloween. So happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> what a year it's been. Yes. HHN 30, Halloween Horror Nights 2021. The event came back this year because last year due to COVID and restrictions, we only had like maybe a half event, which yeah. was Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and Bride of Frankenstein. Yes. Uh, I really didn't care too much for Tooth Fairy. Yeah. I to mean, be honest, I didn't care for either or. Yeah, I, didn't like I could see that. I mean, Bride had its days, right? We would go in. <laughs> one day it would be, eh. The next time we would go in, it'd be like, that was awesome. Tooth Fairy, I felt like it was the same thing. And I yeah. really felt like, you know, no offense to the scare actors, but I think they should have shut that house down and yeah. either had it like during the day to everybody or just move those scare actors to other yeah, places around the that. park. Because one of my biggest complaints this year was the lack of scare actors. And we had so many empty boo holes yes. at every house. Besides, I, I just learned what a boo hole was this oh, year. Oh, yeah. You. A boo hole. <laughs> It's just a, a hiding spot where the scare happens. So that's what a boo hole is called, if yeah. you guys didn't know. I felt like the only house that really didn't have scare actor issues was Wicked Growth. Yeah. I felt like every time we went through that house, it was full. Yeah, the scare exactly. actors were on point. They were ready to go. Yeah, I agree And that, that will tie into our rankings in just yeah. a little bit. What was your overall thoughts of this year's event? I thought HHN was great. You know, since we didn't have it last year, it was nice to have it this year but yeah. i do feel like it was still lacking a bit even though it was 10 houses mm -hmm. x many uh, how uh, many scare five zones? scare zones five yeah. scare zones and then two shows and two shows like it was fun but i don't know i just felt like i don't know it was a little yeah. off to me this year yeah i agree it was off it was not the best year of hhn yeah. but like i said we were very happy of the course, event is yeah. back it felt normal it felt awesome and it's felt just a little too normal <laughs> <laughs> yes, but like that's our Halloween tradition, right? Yeah. Like, like me and you love going to oh, HHN together, yeah. and we we would go at least once a week, if yeah. not two or three times a week, yeah. just off camera because we just really enjoy that. I felt like it wasn't always fully staffed with scare yeah. actors. Um, everybody, I felt yeah. like the the event as a whole was lacking staff, and yeah. I mean. <laughs> what business isn't nowadays? This, you know, we we take it with a grain of salt. It we is do. what it is. I also like enjoyed that they have more food offerings. Like yeah. it's kind of like a food festival. However, I, I didn't really care for most of the food no. there. We were going to Starbucks. Yes. Because the food wasn't good. Yeah. I'm just it, gonna put that out. Yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Like it was cool and it was themed. And this was the first year I had the Twisted Taters. Mm -hmm. I didn't like them. Like they were served cold and 
I just yeah. didn't care for them. The pizza fries were okay. I would say, if anything, I would pick the pizza fries because, again, that just ties staple. directly yeah, into... Yeah, it's a staple to HHN. Yeah. One other thing I, I really did not care for, and this is just something nobody can control other than Universal, was the crowds. The crowds were awful yeah, this year, especially this in this month of October. Every night was absolutely insane. Yeah. Even Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays yeah. were In the month very of busy. October. And we're saying that because... In September, it was it wasn't too busy. Way at all. better. Yeah. Like you could actually walk in a scare Have zone space. and not be shoulder to shoulder bumping with people. Yeah, Express is the way to go yeah, because that's like the only way you're guaranteed. Well, you can do the RIP tour, but other than that, that's yeah. really the only way you're guaranteed to go through all of the houses is with Express. With and Express. I'll tell you guys right now, I don't think I can ever go back to HHN and not have Express. <laughs> this was our first year having Express yeah. with our passes. and Because we would usually do stay and scream yep. and we would at least bang out like at least four, four and like five an, houses yeah. within two hours. Yeah, span. absolutely. But now it's like ridiculous. Like you have to yeah. have Express, definitely. I would say stay and scream really isn't worth it as much anymore because there's so many people there's doing just, it now. Yeah, Plus Universal crowds. is selling like a ticket upgrade where you can purchase into Stay and Scream because how yeah. Stay and Scream works, if you're a pass holder, if you have a day ticket, they will kind of corral you into an area yeah. where you get to go in like two houses before everybody else. Yeah, like at six yeah. instead of 6.30. Right. So that's a benefit if you like for next year. Yeah. But as a whole, I felt like it was just way too insane. And yeah. I feel like next year, <laughs> they need to open up both parks. I know they've done that I before would love once. That. Yeah. But they need to have some houses at Universal Studios yeah, Florida spread it out. and some houses at just Islands of Universal Adventure. Universal is so, sm so much smaller yeah. than Islands of Adventure. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you're shoulder to shoulder bumping in with people. Like yeah. that's how bad it was, especially the last two weeks of October. We noticed that it was ridiculous and we were waiting long lines even at in express yes and even before you get inside of the park you have to go through the parking toll plaza oh you have to park <laughs> you have to go through security you have to wait to get your ticket scanned to even enter the park and i feel like that's something universal needs to do better they need to step it up yeah but i also think it may be a tactic to slow down the crowd i think so you said that the other day. I'm like, he's right. I think it absolutely is a tactic to slow down the crowds. Because I mean, HHN. it would at least be an hour from getting off I-4 to going through the, the toll plaza yeah. to find a parking, parking spot to just go through security. security. You have to go all <laughs> kinds of different Guys, directions. Guys, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> like we I said, went so much we did this, this year. We got our money's worth, Absolutely. that's for sure. But I feel like moving forward, Universal, please fix that issue because we do pay a lot of money to come and enjoy these events. And yeah. I'm sure you guys can agree with that statement. Yeah. Well, with all of that being said, are yes. you ready to do our HHN 30 rankings? Yes. And I just want to preface this. He doesn't know mine and I don't know his. So nope. <laughs> we're going to see how. Well, let's like do it. <laughs> scare zones first. Okay. You want to start with your number five, your least favorite so, scare zone? I did 30 years, 30 fears only because it's basically like a photo op yeah. and it's nothing scary. It's, I think it was a little lame. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. I felt like 2019 was way cooler. <laughs> with the arcade. With the arcades yeah. and the 80s vibe music. Um, but this yeah. year was like a little lame. And that's my number five also. Yeah, I, I didn't like that one. I really did not need to go through yeah. that scare zone at all. It was just a huge follow-up. I don't even consider it a scare zone. There was no icons, <laughs> which... Yeah, there was no icons. The backstory is the icons are kind of captured inside of the house, and that's why they're not in the scare zone, yeah. if that makes any kind of well, sense. Well, they probably don't want to overexpose right. Jack, right? The clown? Yes, but Jack's all over the place, so <laughs> just have Jack out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Should I do number four? Or do you sure, want to do number, do number four? four? Number four, I would put Seek and Destroy. And that was like my favorite scare zone opening night just because I was like, wow, this is cool. This is unique. This is different. But a lot of people did not it, like it. When you think about it, like, wait a minute, what's going on here? That yes. was actually my number four too. And then it's like so repetitive and it's the same thing over and over. <laughs> and then halfway through the run, they did add some victims. And I showed you guys that in this video. So yeah. that made it a little, a little cooler, cooler. But yeah. it, I don't know what that was. I don't it, know it what I was like, thinking. It looked like ninjas. <laughs> Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers, yeah, um, exactly. I didn't know what raisins. was going on. Raisins. Yeah. <laughs> Peter called them raisins. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's your number three? Number three was Crypt TV. And I say this because I don't know what Crypt TV is, mm -hmm. but it was cool, but it's it like wasn't a really scary. like a YouTube TV series. Yeah. The 
Clowns from Outer Space was better than that. Oh, you know, just to kind of compare. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't really, that. I didn't really care for that one. That was my number three. Also, um, I did enjoy Crypt TV. I watched maybe an episode or two, so it, it <laughs> kind of made sense. Maybe in the future, I would like to see them get their own house and see what Universal Creative could do with a Crypt TV house. Yeah. All right. Number two, Gorewood Forest. Yeah, that's my number two. I really enjoyed Gorewood Forest. Mm -hmm. I love the Terror Queen. I love the layout of that scare zone. But I will say the last few nights we've went, that scare zone has been pretty empty. Yeah. When this video was filmed, and this is the reason why I never showed this scare zone in this video, is because we walked through that mm -hmm. scare zone and there was no scare actors, not yeah. one. And then the last few nights we've been going, there hasn't been any sightings of Terra Queen at all. Yeah. And I think that scare zone was just dealing with a big staffing problem throughout they the They were line. understaffed, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. What's your number one? So I liked Eddie's Revenge. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> I liked how everything was, it was kind of, it was really loud. A lot of chainsaws, yeah. different characters, different backdrops. It was cool. Yeah, was I loved it. That was fun. I loved it. That was my favorite scare yeah. zone as well. Um, I thought that scare zone had a really nice flow. It had a little bit of everything, yeah. had photo opportunities, but it was still pretty scary. Yeah. And there was always something going on. And yeah. like you said, it it's was loud. loud. It's loud. And that's what HHN is truly all about. <laughs> all right, moving on to our Top favorite houses yes. of this year's Top event. 10. Top 10. So number 10, obviously number 10 being the worst and mm -hmm. number one being the best. Right. <laughs> um, Welcome to Scary was number 10 for me. Yeah, I didn't care for that one. I got no scares. We went, in, we went inside of it twice. Yeah, we only went twice this it's year. A, it, it was a waste of waiting. It's Even with archive. Express. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Everything Bianca said, I don't know what they were trying <laughs> to do with that house. I thought it had a lot of potential. Yeah. Opening night, I was like, I, I can't wait to go through it. And then I went through them like, And you know what's, what? what's funny is the Rob Zombie one was there. That was lame in too. In 19, and that was lame too. So maybe any house that goes there. And then in 18, <laughs> I worked in that house when it was... Was Blumhouse when it was, was it The Purge and when it was what was that other? I never went. Happy Death Day. Um, I was in the SWAT team section and yeah, people didn't like that house. I think that tent just has a curse of <laughs> lame houses every year. So I think hopefully so. Universal can change that up moving forward. But yeah. um, number nine, I would put Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Um, again, it was just That's what I did. very repetitive and yeah. had a big lack of scare actors every time we went through that. Even last year a lot of missing holes and yeah. yeah i just really didn't care for that house number eight for me was bride of frankenstein i just didn't really care for it and it wasn't scary to me and i feel like they could have done so much better with that one i mean it was cool but i didn't get scared i mean your points are valid um uh, my number eight would be puppet theater i um i had high hopes for that house <laughs> had a good concept um i still remember a scene where you walk through the closet and someone just pops out of nowhere and scares yeah, that was scary. the living daylights out of you but mm -hmm. that house was never consistent it wasn't scary at all yeah. to me besides that one scare i don't really know where they were trying to go with that <laughs> house just in my opinion number seven i put beetlejuice i put beetlejuice as well and i know a lot of you may be like Unpopular number seven <laughs> but like universal could only do so much because of warner brothers and there wasn't a lot of scare actors it was a lot of puppets and just like animatronics and yeah like noises it was the fun house the it was fun, very fun the fun kooky crazy beetlejuice yes. type inspired house like it, when it, we walked through it like i it felt like i was the, in it depicted beetlejuice. the movie really yeah. well like if you the watch attic. the movie which is fun fact yes. or funny fact he just watched it last did, year was it last year last year last halloween it with me. yeah, yeah. And uh, it depicts the movie great, um, but yeah, it wasn't, it, it was number seven on my list as well. Yeah, but I know they sold a lot of merch with Beetlejuice, so. Yeah. Maybe we can finally get that It house yeah. next year. Fingers crossed. Oh gosh. Pennywise that needs be to be at an HHN event. Universal, if you're watching, please. We want a Pennywise house. You can house. be the icon, Come HHN on. 31. <laughs> Another clown. <laughs> Another one. What's your number so six? So number six for me was Puppet Theater. Um, I liked it. I thought it was pretty spooky the yeah. few times we went in and it was like great theming. Yeah. Okay. What's your number six? I put Bride of Frankenstein. I mean, it was a cool house. Um, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a house where I felt like I, I didn't need to go through it every time we were there. Yeah. Um, but when we went through it, I mean, it was fun. Wasn't the scariest, wasn't the best, but it was fun. Number five, I put Texas Chainsaw. And this was my favorite, well, one of my favorite houses on opening night. It was still one of my favorite houses. However, 
I'm terrified of chainsaws, which that really <laughs> <Who is> it? <laughs> made it awesome for me because I do enjoy being scared. Yeah. But it it was just very repetitive. Every time we yeah. went in there, there was just leather faces everywhere. And it was just kind of the same vibe every time we so, went through that house. For me, I did case files. Number I five? Number five. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did case files. I really enjoyed case files. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Is that the name of the house? Case files. Unearthed. Unearthed. Yeah. To me, it was like a quiet place type of vibe. Yeah. If you've watched those movies, I kind of got love that vibe. For there to be a quiet place. Oh, house. that would be great. Another yeah. Warner Brothers. Oh right? man. Yep. My favorite theme of that house was the stairs, and if you guys been in that house, you'll know, you'll see like the blood mm -hmm. everywhere and people and it just, it, it looked like I was in a movie. What's your number four? Number four was Texas for me because I am deathly afraid of Leatherface. Like mm -hmm. the movies as a child, I was scared of mm -hmm. him. So I put it number four because it did scare me. That's the whole element of HHN. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be scared. So the scariest is supposed to be on the top. So yeah, like I would walk I through agree. that house and be like shaking. Like my heart would be beating. Same because of the sounds and you're like, when is this house gonna end? Where's the exit? Like, I just wanna like run. Yeah. So what's your number four? HHN Icons Captured. Oh, wow. And wow. I loved that house. We went through that house every time yeah. we were there. It was very fun, wasn't scary, but mm -hmm. I think that's the whole point of that house. And yeah. great storyline, great characters. The scare actors were amazing. And hopefully we get another house like this in the future where yeah. they kind of explain each icon a little bit more and go a little deeper in their story because yeah, each different icon has a beautiful backstory and I would love to explore their backstories a little yeah. bit more. Number three for me, I put Case Files. I loved Case Files on opening night. That was like maybe eight or nine. It was on yeah. the bottom of my list. But the every time we went it. through that house, I just was like, wow. And then you pay attention to the writings on the wall and it's yeah, just, it's, it's a cool. whole nice story that's yeah. tied directly into some of the areas inside of the park. Yeah. That I had no idea the about. The Kitty Cat Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> What's your number three? Number three was Hill House. Okay. I loved the series Hill House. I thought it was one of the most scariest things I've ever watched. Mm. The house was good. Yeah. I didn't really care for all the mannequins. There was a there lot was of mannequins. There was a lot of mannequins for the bent neck lady. Mm -hmm. I felt like they could have done a little bit better. I think depicting Nell from the actual series. Right. But at the end, they did finally add a live scare actor of the bent neck lady. And you know what's funny? When you walk out of these houses, they want surveys. They want to know what you like. Yeah, so do the surveys. Do the if you surveys. Can. So, number two for me would be Hill House. Um, I loved Hill House. This is another house we went through every single time. Well, yeah. I think there was one night we skipped it. But yeah. I love Hill House. I feel like that's the best, like, scary TV series that's on TV yeah. now. Or Streaming, yeah. It's just, I, I love it. I felt like the second season wasn't as good as the first season. I know they were not the same story, but mm -hmm. um, I think the house was really good. Like it tied very well into the series, into the series, yeah. and then into no, the, it was, it was the a house. Great house. So Bianca, what's your number two? So number two for me was icons. I really liked that house. I enjoyed seeing all of the different gears and the icons. So that was my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So number one, I think we have the same. Favorite house of the year. Wicked Growth. Wicked Growth. Yeah. It is a original house. Yeah, it was the best. I felt like every time we went through that house, the scare actors were on their game. I felt like the scare actors <laughs> knew they had the house of the year. Yeah. That was the only house I felt like yeah. never had staffing issues. There wasn't any empty boo holes no. every time we went. It was just a well done house. It was beautiful. Yeah. The Pumpkin King. <sighs> Hats off to Universal. Round of applause. It was actually really great. And I hope that house gets House of the Year from yeah, Universal because should. they deserve it. And that was our rankings of HHN 30. It was a good year. Yeah. Was it the best, but it yeah. was good. It was a great year. Absolutely. Can't wait for next year. And I would love to know what you guys thought of HHN this year and yes. your houses, like from a ranking. Yeah. What you guys give like. us your rankings down in the or comments. Or like a top five or something. I do want to just go ahead and kind of give my last minute rankings on just all of the Halloween events before we move into oh, Christmas because yeah. Christmas starts tomorrow <laughs> Don't say here that. in Central Florida. <laughs> um, so let me say this before I say what yeah. I was going to say. As a whole, Nothing is going to beat HHN. I feel yeah. like as a whole, that is just the best Halloween yeah. event. And that's I feel like that's tier. why it's so busy and crowded. Mm -hmm. But it's not scary. 
And I know a lot of you are like, I can't really do scary, this and that. Yeah. It's we not. We hear that so much from friends and we're like, yeah. just go. It honestly is a good time. Now, if you want to get scared, my favorite like scary haunt this year was Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. I knew you were going to say that. That was just so much fun when we were down there. Yeah. I, next year, you have to come with me. I'm going to have to. Hats off to Hello Scream and Busch Gardens. I felt like SeaWorld, it had potential, but it wasn't on the level as Busch Gardens. But my next favorite one would be um, Screamageddon in yeah, Dade, he loves Dade City. <laughs> it's just terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. In You're the in the middle of the, of the woods. woods. Yeah. <laughs> like shipping containers everywhere. It just gives you nightmares. Yeah. And then the third one, I'd put SeaWorld and then HHN at the bottom as far as scary. Yeah. But I feel like just Universal has a little bit more they need to kind of figure out because I feel like they know that they are the best, but yeah. now you have SeaWorld down the street, you have Busch Gardens down yeah, I-4, more Screamageddon. So Universal, step it up just a little bit. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fantastic Halloween. Stay safe out there. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember, it's nice to be nice and YouTube will see you in the next video. Bianca, Prince Charming Dev, out. out. <laughs> I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. Fading it too slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside